ladies and gents, this is Mr. Vanderpool. Just wanted to do a quick review over the different equations that we use in uh, multiple deposit expansion problems. So um, there really are four basic equations that we use. Um, number one, total reserves is equal to excess reserves plus required reserves. Remember, total reserves is the amount of money uh, being put into the banking system by the federal, the federal Reserve, and that is equal to the excess reserves, which is the amount that the bank can lend out, plus the required reserves, which is the amount that the bank can hold. Uh, or has to hold actually. So um, total reserves is equal to excess reserves plus required reserves. Um, an algebraic manipulation of this is that excess reserves is also equal to the total reserves minus the required reserves. So if you just want to straight figure out what your excess reserves are, um, just take your total reserves and subtract your required reserves. Um, your second equation is the money multiplier. So your money multiplier is equal to 1 over the reserve requirement ratio. Okay, and that will show um, the multiplier of um, when the Fed puts money into the banking system, how much that money will multiply as it circulates um, through loans um, from bank to bank. And then for equation number three, we have our max change in loans. So our max change in loans is equal to our money multiplier, one over the reserve requirement ratio, times excess reserves. Okay, so if you want to find your max change in loans in the banking system, use that equation. And then number four, your max change in the money supply is equal to one over your reserve requirement ratio, your money multiplier, times total reserves. Alright, so it's really important that you know these equations and that you have them memorized.